Well, I ran into Gordon Lightfoot, ran right into his face at the concert uh, three weeks ago. I went to get my record signed by him, and his bodyguard says, he'll never sign them for you, but he signed all, I only took 21 records. There was no way he's going to sign those, and I went back where I wasn't supposed to be, waiting for them to bring me my records, and he was supposed to be in his big old motor home, and I run smack right into his face. That was cool. <laughs> he was really cool. But he didn't sign anything, or oh, he signed them all. Oh, yeah, he was. He was really cool. Look, here's Fonzie. Look, fabulous Fabian flamingos. <laughs> My gosh, the flamingos! What's that? Davy Crockett original. Unbelievable. The mm -hmm. records are unbelievable. Well, oh, God. That's original Johnny Weissmuller, right there. That's, um, well, I told you, 1933 Marie Dressler with a, a marquee, Wild Bill Hickok, original 1954. Yeah, that Gone with the Wind, um, Vivian Lee. I had Clark Gable, but like an idiot, in the 70s, they were puzzle covers puzzle covers and I cut off the cardboard and stuck them both in frames and of course I sold Clark Gable I should have never done that never seen any of those before the Tom King stone litho it, the artwork on it is unbelievable this one I got like in 72 over here that's very rare but see I've lost track I've been here for so many years I have no idea it doesn't really matter you just horse trade them uh, I did have a lot of those. I had John Wayne, mostly Hopalong Cassidy, and I glued them on boards. I've probably got about 50 of those left. I ended up mostly with Gene Autry, Lash LaRue, a couple of Sunset Carson, Rocky Lane, but I've got them from three to 600, which is dirt cheap. Most of them are early 40s and they're absolutely gorgeous. Those aren't necessarily the best ones I ever put on boards, but you should never have glued them on boards. Uh, you know, you got the Bowery Boys, East Side Kids, um, original Buck Jones, 1936. Um, this is really cool, because it's got the original marquee on it. And this is very early Ken Maynard. And this one right here, uh, with Grace Moore, this is early 30s, and it's got a stamp on it here, and look at the marquee that that one's got on it. This is a really cool Tom King. Of course, that's 40s. And there's Mom and Paul Kettle down there. Uh, probably the rarest one that I got, it was Superman 1941 cartoon poster, <laughs> and we were throwing darts on it, and that's when I divorced my husband. And he wanted that poster. So he took it with him and he says, well, I want the poster. Oh, you can have it. Cause I had $25 on it. And right after that, there was like 20 people coming in. Still got that Superman poster. Well, my ex-husband took it. Well, somebody from California uh, wrote me a letter. I'll give you $700. Oh. Now, 40 years ago, $700 was like $5,000 today. Yes, right. So I called my ex-husband. I says, would you please send me back that Superman is here poster? And he did. And I sent it to California. But that poster is um, probably 200000 right now. <coughs> probably the highest. It was... Uh, there was one other one besides the Superman, and that was the Frankenstein, which I got a great copy of, which is 400. But the original, a friend of mine got that in the 70s, right there. It looks exactly like that. But he got the original, and he paid a thousand for it in like 1972 or three, and he turned down 175,000 years ago. Well, that's the back game. Well, these are the $45 ones. See, there's Woody, and that's Noah's Ark now. There's a Caddyshack, but you can't see the decor, really. I'm not a good picture taker. That's a cabaret. I'm not really a good picture taker, am I? <laughs> there's the back cave. See, white. That's for sale for $1,500. It's worth $10,000 fixed up, because how many white 
Airstreams you have ever seen. But the one you can walk in and look, you just have to take a screwdriver and push the little latch because it doesn't have a handle. Things change, but back when I was a girl, everybody was still left over from the Civil War. Everybody was over 100 years old. Wow. Nobody ever died. Now they're dying like crazy because prescription drugs and they go to doctors. Doctors have never healed anybody since, what was it, polio? And then they found out it wasn't profitable, so they quit, te they quit teaching. It's not the doctor's fault. It really isn't. They don't know how to fix anybody. You gotta fix yourself. Could be true. Oh, it is true. Read the Bible, it tells you. <laughs> in the Bible. <laughs> it says, uh, never put your faith or trust in a person. Just God. Mm -hmm.